The suspect in Natalie Holloway's disappearance will reveal details of her death in a new plea deal per NBC News. According to the report, Jorn van der Sloot, a Dutch national, has allegedly struck a deal to plead guilty to an extortion plot connected to the Alabama teenager's 2005 disappearance, which occurred on the island of Aruba. Holloway family attorney John Q. Kelly told NBC News on October 15th the plea agreement was conditioned upon Mr. Vandersloot revealing details of how Natalie died and how her body was disposed of. E! News has reached out to Kelly for further comment and has not yet heard back. Neither a lawyer for Vandersloot nor federal prosecutors could be immediately reached. 18-year-old Holloway went missing while vacationing in Aruba with classmates celebrating their high school graduation. Her disappearance dominated news coverage at the time, but she was never located. Natalie was declared dead by an Alabama probate court in 2012. Her NBC News Vandersloot was identified as a suspect and detained weeks after her disappearance, but no charges were ever filed. In 2010, a U.S. federal grand jury indicted Vandersloot on two counts of wire fraud and extortion per NBC News. According to the outlet, he was extradited to the United States from Peru in June to face allegations that he demanded $250,000 from her family in exchange for information about her disappearance. Vandersloot was already in custody in Peru after being convicted of killing a Peruvian college student, Stephanie Flores, in 2010. She was killed five years to the day after Natalie Holloway's disappearance. Vandersloot was sentenced to 28 years in prison. Per NBC News, Vandersloot married a Peruvian woman in July 2014 in a ceremony at a maximum security prison. According to the outlet, he has also been transferred from prisons in response to reports that he enjoyed privileges such as television, internet access, and a cell phone, as well as accusations that he had threatened to kill a warden. In May of 2023, his Peruvian lawyer told NBC News that Yorin had been in a fight between rival gangs. Per his attorney, Vandersloot was treated in the facility's medical wing and the lawyer added that his client's injuries were, quote, nothing too serious.